Alrighty guys, you just finished on your front side and you did your last three double crochets in that single crochet there. So I'm going to teach you the next um, part of this. And I know I said I was going to do it in this, but this looks black on there and it's going to be very hard to see for this next stitch. So I'm not going to be doing it in this color. I'm going to be doing it in Thrissa's color. And I need to find out the color of this. But that's a little variegated. So we're going to, I'm just going to show you how this stitch is that we're going to do. We're going to attach in our last stitch that we did on the front. We're going to put, but the stitch the stitch is we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to turn around and double crochet into that first chain and we're going to make a double crochet we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to grab these if you can see a hope Try to look at my camera and through my glasses. As you can see, there is two legs there. Go under those two legs, pull through, and make a double crochet. So those two legs is what we're going to come right back down into. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, wrap around, go down, and pick up those two legs that we finished with and make a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Go back down and double crochet into those two legs. We're going to do that 17 times. Okay, so that's the stitch. Now, I'm going to add Thrissa's color in here. You can either do one of two ways attaching. If you want to go ahead and clip it here, clip it. That's fine. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave me a little tail that way. And I'm going to pull this through. And give it a little tug. Now, Remember, this is the front side. You can tell the front side from the back side. Look how knobbly, but I do like the back side myself. Knobbly the back side is, and look how front. Either way, it doesn't matter. So here we go. We're going to attach, I like to do a standing single crochet. So you know at the end, we are going to flip our work so we're going to turn and we're going to attach right there in the top of that double crochet so I'm going to do a standing single crochet which that's what we started with on every row in the single crochet row we're going to chain three one two three we're going to skip those two we're going to do a single crochet there we're going to chain three, two, three, single crochet, chain three, two, three, single crochet, one, two, three, and we're going to do that all the way till we get there. We're going to put a single crochet in our peak, a chain um, three, and a single crochet. And we're going to do our chain three single crochet chain three single crochet all the way back down till we get to this last um single crochet here and i'll meet you there all righty so let's finish this i did my chain three let's do our single crochet there let's do our chain three two three and do our last single crochet in the top of that chain three space 
we're going to put a single crochet. Okay, now that special stitch, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and the top of that single crochet there, we are going to place a double crochet. Okay, we're in a little dark area here. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Make a double crochet into those last two on that last double crochet and make a double crochet. What this is doing is making this, this part right here is acting as your three double crochets there. This part over here, the double crochet part, is acting as your I mean this chain three over here is acting as your chain three here. So the only thing is missing is your double crochets but this is your double crochet row there. And we're going to do that 19 times. So chain three, one, two, three, double crochet into those two bars down there and make a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, make a double crochet in those two bars that we have and make a double crochet. And we're going to do that 19 times. So do this for 19 times and I'll be right back. All right, I'm doing my last um, 19. So, one, two, three, and go down here and pick up those two and do a double crochet. All right. Now, lay it out and make sure it's straight. Well, first, make sure you have 19. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I have my nineteen and it's laid straight. We're going to pick up our piece and in the top of this uh, single crochet, we are going to do a slip stitch. Okay. Now, Remember we have to, we turn our work inward and we're going to slip stitch into that um, chain three space. And we're going to start our pattern just as we do in the chain three spaces. We do a chain three and two more double crochets. So the chain three spaces will get three double crochets just the same way we've been doing all along put three double crochets into the next one double crochet so that's three double crochets in the chain three space put three double crochets in the chain three space And that's what we're going to do for nine, nine of these. So one, two, three. Four. Chain three. I mean, three double crochets in the next one. Three double crochets into the next one. Three double crochets into the next one. Three double crochets into the next one. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Three 
three double crochets into this one, which makes nine. And into the tenth one, we are going to put three double crochets. A chain two and three double crochets. One double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets. Okay, and we're back to the pattern again, which will be three double crochets in each of these chain three spaces. Go all the way down here. And do the same thing as we did in this point, which was three double crochets, a chain two, three double crochets, and back to our pattern of three double crochets in each one of these chain three spaces. And I will meet you on the very last one. So do that, and I will be right back. Alrighty, we're down here on the very last one. Let's do our three double crochets in this chain three space. One, two, and I have a hair. Isn't it funny how hair gets in your projects? Sorry about that. So let's finish this up now. That was three. Okay. In the top of this chain three space, we are going to do a slip stitch. If I can get in there. Sorry about that. We're going to do a slip stitch. And remember, we always. Let's do a recap first. Okay. So let me say that if you're happy with the way your project is looking now. I want you to try this on. I guess I should say that first. I want you to slip this over your head and see if it works. Now remember, there is some stretch to this and it's going to get bigger. So all we're looking for right now, will it go over your head? And it's a pretty good size across right now. It's eight inches, but like I said, this is not stretched, so you can stretch it. So that's eight inches. Mine fits, and I got a uh, 21 inch head, so. All right, so if you're happy with this and it fits over your head, you can go ahead and weave in your ends now. All of your ends, weave them in, and I will come back with the next part, what we're going to do. So go ahead and weave in your ends, and I will be right back. Alrighty. So we ended with slip stitching into the top of the chain three. So we're going to turn inward. We're going to chain one and we're going to put a single crochet back in that same space. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to go down in, in between the two um, double crochet clusters. We're going to put a single crochet. Chain three, and in between the two clusters, we're going to put a single crochet. It's the same pattern we've been doing. We're going to continue doing that until we get to the end down here. We're going to put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. We will work all the way over here till this stitch right here. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After number 10, I will meet you right there because we're going to change this up. All right. So continue this stitch pattern. Remember to put a single crochet, a chain three, and a single crochet in the peak, and I'll meet you on the 10th double crochet cluster. 
Okay, we're down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're on our very last one, which would be right across our line there. So let's do our chain three. One, two, three. We're going to put a single crochet there. Now, we're going to chain three. And we're going to turn around and put another single crochet there. If we did not do that, each row, your back would raise up and this would go down and you'll have a big old, this would not be hanging right on your back. So we still have to increase to go across our shoulders. So we're going to continue with doing the stitch pattern until we get over here and we will do a single crochet well, I'll meet you over there. So let's finish all the way over here and I'll come back and meet you there. Alrighty. So we're going to do our last chain three. One, two, three. We're going to put a single crochet where we've already started from. We're going to chain, we're not going to chain three. We're going to do a half double crochet stitch. And the reason why I do that is to bring, bring the center so I don't have to go back and try to find the center. All right, so let me show you that again. Instead of doing a chain three, we're going to do a half double crochet into that single crochet. So let's do a half double crochet and it brings you a point, which that's what we need. So we're going to turn inward and we're going to go right back down into that same space and chain three. One, two, three. We're going to turn around and put two more double crochets in that same space. All right. Then we're going to put three double crochets in each chain three space, just as we've been doing. Our, cor our peak will get three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. Do our chain three, or three double crochets in the chain three spaces. And when you get over here, you're going to do the same thing as we did here. You're going to put three double crochets, a chain two, three double crochets, and do our three double crochets in the chain three spaces and come back to the very beginning. You will put three double crochets and a chain two and connect it to it. Well, you could do a chain two. I do a um, double crochet, I mean a, a half double crochet, but you could do a chain two. All right, so Go all the way around and I will show you once again here. All right. Carry on. All righty. Let's finish this round. We're going to finish by putting our last three double crochets in the chain three space. There's one double crochet. There's two double crochets. There's three double crochets. Now we need to increase because the next row is going to be the increase row. We're going to put a three more double crochets into that one we started with with three double crochets. There's two and three. We're going to chain two. We're going to go into the top of the chain three make a slip stitch and let's do a recap. So what we've done in this row was we put three double crochets at the very beginning and three double crochets in every chain three space. All the way down here we put three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets and we did that in every corner. We just increased it by eight stitches and we will continue increasing with eight stitches per row now. 
I'm doing mine in five rows of one color. One, two, three, four, five. So this is one, two. I will continue these last two rows that we just did three more times. I will end with a double crochet row. So continue doing the last two rows that we just did for uh, a total of five rows and then we'll come back. We want to stay on the same page, everybody on the same page. All right, I'll meet you back here when I have finished my last, which would be five rows of double crochet rows, okay? Meaning the double crochet, a chain two, the meaning double crochet row and the chain three single crochet row, but we will end on the double crochet row. All right, I'll meet you back. Okay, do a standing single crochet. We're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and in between the two clusters, we are going to put a single crochet just the way we've been doing all along with the chain three, single crochet between the two clusters, the chain three, single crochet between the clusters. We're going to continue doing that. All the way around. Let me straighten this up so you can see. A sing, we're doing a single crochet, chain three in between the clusters all the way down. When we get to this back, we will put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet there. We will do our single crochet, chain threes all the way to this corner. We will put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet there. The same thing there, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and I will meet you back here at the beginning. Alrighty. Alright, we're going to finish this up. I'm down here to the end. Do my last chain three, one, two, three going to single crochet in that very first one we started with a chain three. We're going to slip stitch on top of that standing single crochet that we did at the beginning. And we're going to turn. We're going to chain, we're going to slip stitch into the chain three space chain three, one, two, three, and put two more double crochets in that chain three space. This is the double crochet row. So on the double crochet row, you know that we put three double crochets in every chain three space. Now, the only increase that you're going to be doing is this one. You will put three double crochets a chain two, three double crochets in your front and your back. Your shoulders will only get three double crochets in that chain three space there. So I am going to let you work all the way to over here and then I will show you again just three double crochets in this chain three space. But your front and your back, you're going to put three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in that. All right? And I'll be right back. All righty. I'm going to show you what to do here on this corner, your shoulder. Did three double crochets there. Do three double crochets in this chain three space. That's three double crochets in this corner of our shoulder where it's got a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. We are going to put three double crochets in that, just three this time. One, two, three double crochets. And we will continue with 
three double crochets in each chain three space. Remember down here we will put three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets because this is a back and we will finish with a slip stitch into the top of the chain three here. And I will and we will do these two rows of the single crochet and the double crochet for five rows ending with this with your double crochet row just the same way we did here and I'll meet you back. Alrighty, I finished my white over here and now I am going to put on the next color which is going to be this. Um, I want to show you that this this round here it starts curving for your shoulder. So I put five here, five rows of this variegated color, five rows of this. I'm going to turn around and put another five rows of this. So I'm going to get you started and we're going to repeat the same pattern that we've been doing for the last, for the whole top. So here we go. I ended over here on the front side. And let me get my do a slip knot on my hook and since we ended here we have to turn we're going to do the inside we're going to do a single standing a uh, standing single crochet here and we're going to do our chain three one two three we're going to single crochet between these two single uh, double crochet clusters. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, single in between the two clusters. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet between the two clusters. Continue doing that with your increase in your front with a single crochet chain three and a single crochet in your front and in your back here's your back and at the end of five rows i will meet you back here 